Welcome to a demo of Wherefore. Uh, we have a couple of guests with us today, Jeff and Scott, both from Wherefore. I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. Here at Brando Consulting, we help you find the right inventory software, and Wherefore is one of our partners. And in this demo, Jeff and Scott have been gracious enough to uh, share their time with us to demo Wherefore. Be sure to watch the deep dive demo if you think Wherefore looks like it could be a possible fit uh, for you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Lance, for having us. We're, uh, we're happy to be here, excited to walk through Wherefore quickly. And then, uh, as you mentioned, if, uh, if it looks like something that's interesting, we've got the deep dive demo that we did that uh, is more like a half an hour. So uh, we're, we're excited to get started. Yeah, I think it was more like 50 minutes. <laughs> it's, right. it's a good deep dive demo. So the, the real serious watchers take a look, the really serious shoppers take a look at that deep dive demo. Perfect. So Jeff is going to walk us through sales order creation, work order creation, purchase order creation. Well, actually, he's not going to create anything. We're just, he's just going to show us what features exist and where for. And if you think um, that that is a possible good fit for your company, be sure to take a look at our deep dive demo and reach out to us here at Brando Consulting, and we'll set up another a demo for you, where for. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, we'll go through the product in a logical order where you're taking an order from a customer, making some product, uh, shipping it out, all of the functionality that you would expect in an inventory management system. So we're here in the customer's module and what you can do in here, a number of different things, but the main thing you'll do here on the front end is to, to take a customer order. Uh, customer orders can be uh, taken through uh, through websites. We have e-commerce integration, Shopify, things like that. We've got a customer ordering portal, but the bottom line is all of your customers' orders, regardless of source, will flow into Wherefore, and, and then you can produce based on those orders in the system. So the customer's area is kind of the sales area. In this section, you've got your quotes, your orders, your invoices, your order fulfillment, which is pick and ship, uh, your ship log returns, that's a very important thing. Um, returns log as well. Credits, standing orders. Um, let's take a look at the sales order screen. What does that look like? So if I go in uh, into the order screen here, I um, this is, a, of course, if you've got a phone call or something and you wanted to place a manual order, you're on the phone with a customer here. Um, I call up this specific customer and uh, enter it, and it's a standard form here. Uh, all of this data is going to automatically populate into the system. You can certainly attach customer data, like their PO number, that sort of a thing, uh, order date, and then it's simply a matter of entering the products that are ordered in the system and the quantity, and then their pricing that you have in the system. You can set up price tiers in the system. Their pricing is going to automatically populate when they place the order. And Wherefore integrates with all the major marketplaces and e-commerce platforms. Wherefore has its own B2B uh, gateway. So your wholesale distribution customers can log in and place orders. Of course, you can take a payment here and Wherefore integrates with QuickBooks, Sage, and, and Zero as well. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the at the work orders and production area. Okay. So we have an order in the system. We'll hop over to the production area because we need to make the stuff that just got ordered in the system. The orders will populate into here. So if you are a company that drives your production based on orders, all of my customer orders, when they get into the system, will automatically populate here. And the system will automatically aggregate products. And so if you have multiple orders, like we do in this case, for a specific product in the system, they are going to aggregate here up to the total amount you need to produce. So you don't have to go order by order and order to produce. You can aggregate the total demand and create work orders based on that um, straight from that screen automatically. Yeah, great automation features here. Um, you know, not only will a sales order generate a work order, but there's also the option that you can generate multiple work orders in an aggregate sort of style, or, you know, take the demand from multiple sales orders to 
to put them on one work order. And this is an area that small business owners sometimes underestimate inventory software and don't realize the power that inventory software brings to help you make important production decisions. Yeah, absolutely. So in this area, that's where all the magic happens is in the production area. You're automatically managing, drawing down your raw materials, creating your finished goods. And so the system is automatically showing you what your real-time inventory is at any point in time, which if you're doing things manually on spreadsheets, it's almost impossible to know what you have on hand at any given time. So yeah, the, the magic happens in the production area for sure. Yeah. Inventory is always moving. You can't keep a spreadsheet up to date. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't. You need inventory software because there's different roles, right? You've got your production manager, your, your salespeople, your purchasing people, your pickers, your receivers. They're, they're all touching the inventory software and constantly updating the inventory software. And if you're on a spreadsheet, phew, good luck. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah, show us purchasing. Let's take us to the purchasing. So yeah, uh, the purchasing obviously takes place in the vendors area here. We'll hop over to the vendors area. And in this area, we have the ability to create purchase orders, which obviously is an order. Uh, I'll show you what one of these looks like by clicking into it. It's an order to a vendor. We've got a couple of line items on here. Again, UI is very consistent throughout Wherefore, but we've got a quantity and cost in the system that will total up our purchase order. And then that purchase order just sits there until the material receives at your dock uh, or arrives at your dock, and then you can receive it into stock at that point in time. And uh, you've got a receiving screen that someone with an iPad or a tablet can use. So the person touching the inventory can be the person that's recording the inventory in real time. Very critical feature to help create inventory accuracy or achieve inventory accuracy. Absolutely. Yeah. Again, you can, a couple, of, a couple of points here, you can maintain vendor pricing in the system as well. So if you have price tiers where if you buy up to a thousand pounds of something, it's $2. If you buy above that, it goes down to $1.50. So you can have those price tiers built in the system and those will automatically populate. The other thing that I'll mention is that, um, Barcoding is built into the system. So if you ever get to the point, uh, if you're using barcoding now, or at some point you aspire to, we automatically create barcode labels as soon as inventory comes into the system. We're automatically creating labels for you. And so when you talk about companies that grow uh, and you get to the point where you can really take advantage of scanning technology on iPads and that sort of thing, uh, it's already built into the system. So there's no upgrade or anything that needs to be done. Yeah, if you're thinking about barcoding, you should be thinking about part numbers too. I'll, I'll try not to get on my soapbox on this short demo, but you'd be surprised how many people I work with that don't yet have part numbers. Think about uh, a part numbering scheme if, if you're thinking about barcoding. So uh, we're receiving this purchase order. What happens in QuickBooks uh, on the accounting side? Yeah, so when you create the purchase order and wherefore, part of our integration with QuickBooks is that the purchase order will uh, get automatically created in QuickBooks as though you created that in QuickBooks. The nice part about that is uh, oftentimes the accounting function is separated from the warehouse function. So that purchase order is in the system. We do have a receiving log in wherefore. And then when the bill comes from the vendor, you can match up, oh yeah, I bought 10 units of this product at $3 a unit. That matches my PO or it doesn't match my PO and somebody can investigate it. So you have that three-way match built in for accounting control so you don't lose money or get less than you planned on getting. You wanna show us the work order screen. Why don't you take us to the work order screen? Yeah, sure. So um, we'll go ahead and navigate over to production. And uh, I won't necessarily uh, click around too much here, but I did want to kind of just think about maybe what one work order looks like, and then I'll just talk about these other areas here. So um, we're going to have our listing of our items. We're going to pull here in the system any of our items on the bill materials, consume those. If we need to make adjustments on the fly, we can certainly do that. We can also track labor if those costs are going into it as well. And um, along with being able to complete those work orders here, we also have a calendar that's very helpful for our customers, which kind of details which items are in production, 
which ones we have scheduled, uh, which ones are pending or completed, along with a what if scenario that can be used to uh, tell us if we have, uh, you know, uh, make to order type items, do we have enough to complete those orders and it shows a bomb explosion that shows all of our uh, items that are going to be needed there, along with forecasts that can be done for daily, weekly, monthly situations to uh, give us insight into what we're expecting here over the upcoming period, along with an MRP analysis that would also add into that forecast and allow for us to see all of the different upcoming projections and what we may need to produce or purchase to support that. I can really appreciate the MRP and the scheduled orders and the work order dates. I, I swear I spend most of my time there with my customers consulting on how to best use the inventory software to manage the schedule, you know, because not everything mm -hmm. always goes according to plan. And uh, one thing I like about Wherefore is actual consumption as well. So mm -hmm. uh, let's take a look at uh, what picking and sales order fulfillment. Yeah, sure. So here on the sales orders um, that are going to be listed in the customer section. Here's where we'd be able to um, pick and ship. And so I'll kind of just pull up uh, some of those orders that we might have listed so we can kind of briefly see where we would find those. And so we would see any of our orders listed here. We would also see the order date, what the uh, delivery method is going to be. And with any of these particular orders here, we'd be able to click pick and ship. It's going to take us to that fulfillment screen and we can then choose to fulfill any of those different items on the order and uh, complete that for our customer. Awesome. And then for shipping, what do you integrate with? What uh, what shipping software programs do you integrate with? Yeah, so the uh, primary one is going to be ShipStation uh, that we see most commonly out there uh, with our customers. So we do have a direct connection with ShipStation and uh, any of the orders that we fulfill um, here in the system uh, would be noted in ShipStation and allows for the system to, systems to communicate with each other. And then at the point of shipment, I understand Wherefore creates an invoice in QuickBooks. Is that right? So Correct. talking about the accounting side uh, of things, I think reports are a big deal with inventory software to bring visibility. They help us make good, good decisions, right? Good business decisions. Why don't you show us a couple of your most uh, popular reports? Yeah, sure thing. Jeff, do you want to show some of these uh, reports that you feel are most helpful? Sure. Well, uh, yeah, let's pop in here. From my standpoint, there's a there's a reason that we're in business and that's to make money. And so there's a lot of reporting here with regard to uh, inventory, I, you know, in, inventory on hand and low stock alerts, operational things. But at the end of the day, did we make money and where did we make money? So you have the ability to go in here into our fulfillment report and it's going to show you on a line item basis. I'm sorry, the shipments report, my bad. We go into our shipments report. It's going to go order by order and show us, oh, hey, we, we shipped out 100 units of this product to this customer. Cost us $300. We made $1,500 on it. So that was a high margin sale. So we can go in and, and identify where we're making money on which customer, which products. And so because we have all this costing data in the system, uh, it's done in an instant. And that's really elusive information to get for pretty much any business. And I like how this is organized. Uh, they look like buttons, and I guess they are buttons across the top, work orders, cost on hand. I'm just reading it from left to right. Levels, production, trace, recall. So these are all the different categories of the reports that Wherefore has. And one thing that stands out to me is the recall. Um, that's an important category. It shows your strength in the whole, in the uh, food and beverage and, and health and beauty uh, industries. And um, so, yeah, it's good to have a lot of reports, easy to use reports and some good visibility. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this short demo today. Be sure to check out the deep dive demo if this um if this enticed your your interest and uh, uh, take a look deeper into wherefore if you think it might be a good fit for you and and if you're trying to figure out what inventory software is best for you please 
reach out to us here at Brown Consulting and we can bring you through our selection consulting services and, and help you narrow down the vast list of inventory management software that is out there um, and help you find uh, a good inventory software like we're for. Thanks, Lance. Enjoyed it. Thanks, Lance. You bet. And be sure to subscribe and like and comment below.